Today on KUJH News, big parking changes are in the works for the next school year, how this reduction in parking will affect you, and the end of an era. KU seniors play their last game in Allen Fieldhouse this weekend, how they're feeling about the milestone, and... I'm Kirsten Peterson. Presidential candidate Bernie Sanders made a stop in Lawrence just two days before the Kansans cast their vote. We'll keep you updated on how the Kansas caucuses could affect the race to the White House. KUJH News starts now. From the University of Kansas, you're watching KUJH News. Because we're doing something very radical. We're telling the truth. A blunt message from Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angelina Dom. Lawrence was definitely feeling the burn last night as Sanders made a last push to win over Kansas before they caucus on Saturday. After having rallied voters in Kansas City, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders was back to Kansas a week later, except this time in Lawrence on Thursday night. During the rally, Bernie Sanders really spoke on issues regarding women's rights and abortion, raising the minimum wage, and education, which really means a lot in a college town like Lawrence. Looking forward to Saturday, Bernie urges people to get out there and vote. I think it's great that we have a presidential candidate that cares so much about women's rights, especially because he's not a woman and he's not getting any gain from it. And especially like how he sees the value in like college students. I mean, I agree with him 100%. I've always saw Bernie as the most genuine candidate and the one that always saw what I needed versus what like the top 1% that he always talks. With only two days left before the Kansas caucuses, Bernie Sanders' timing on hosting a rally in Lawrence was crucial to get votes. I think you can get a really good college crowd out here and a lot of people to go out and vote, not just come out to the rally, but really come out and go to the polls and we can really make a difference. Reporting for KUJH News, I'm Kirsten Peterson. More than 5,000 people attended the rally to support Bernie Sanders. Some lined up as early as noon. KUJH reporter Hank Cavanero was outside talking with some of those waiting in line. So three for dinner, you can get one for five. There was no shortage of Bernie Sanders apparel at the rally. The burn was felt everywhere. I got the shirt today, yes. For a small price. 20 bucks, well worth it. Everyone waiting for a chance to see Bernie. They've had to restructure this line a few times. The line was kind of like just straight back that way and then they need to make more, more parking. But even after that, the line had turned a corner, gone through a field and looped back two more times. I think we're about, what, half a mile back and it looks like it goes for another half mile past us. For James Ricks and Phil Snap, they have been waiting to see Bernie for a while now. They both drove over two hours and then had to wait in line for three more. Probably following him for oh, two or three years and supporting him really ever since he started running for president. And everyone has their reasons. I'm here for Bernie because I don't have billions of dollars to throw at another candidate, so I'm going to be one of the billions of people for a candidate that doesn't have the money. And Bernie is, you know, I think he's... He's somebody that feels the same way I do. Everyone waiting in line for their chance to see someone they would like to see be the next president. Reporting in Lawrence, Hank Cavanero, KUJH News. Still to come later in sports, it's senior night tomorrow for men's basketball. What do some of the seniors have to say about their time at KU? Plus, the baseball season has been far from dramatic. We'll update you on some live action from Hoagland Ballpark. Stay with us. Welcome back, I'm Travis Calvin. KU seniors have had varying amounts of time with the team. Hunter Mickelson for two years, Evan Manning for four, Jamari Trailer for five, and Perry L somewhere around eight. Thursday, the seniors had a chance to reflect on what has changed for them since becoming Jayhawks. You know, the, uh, the range and then ball handling uh, has gotten a lot better. I, I feel like feel a lot more comfortable with the ball in my hand, and I think that's, that's definitely been a plus. The things I cherish the most has been uh, probably just just uh, just being able to have just make great friends uh, with my teammates here, uh, guys I still I still talk to to this day, and uh, great memories with my coaches, like all the jokes we have. Kansas has a habit of sending their seniors off in style. They haven't lost a home finale in over 32 years. I'm pretty sure my parents are still in high school about that time. The Jayhawks defense has been instrumental of late, and on the year they've allowed just a mere 67.5 points per game. In Monday's route of Texas Longhorns, UT shot just 30%. Saturday will also be the final time we watch two of the Big 12's marquee seniors go at it. Some of the Big 12 coaches, I'm sure, have been waiting for Perry Ellis and Georges Niang to leave for quite a while. 